Ahoy, ye mates! Welcome to the first video in my tutorial series on Pirate 101 Combat Basics. I know that for a lot of people coming over from Wizard 101 or just trying out this game for the first time, the combat can seem really complicated and overwhelming. So I decided to make this video series to help people ease into the combat system in Pirate. The subject of this video is Chains, which is attacks that happen after the initial planned attack so you can understand why it is that sometimes a unit can hit, you know, six, seven times in a row and how to increase the chances of your unit chaining. The first two companions you recruit in the game are also some of your best chaining companions. So buccaneers receive uh, this swashbuckler companion called Kobe Yojimbo. He starts with just one epic strike, but as you level him up and promote him, he will eventually be able to learn both Blade Storm and Relentless. Uh, all classes receive a melee companion like that to start with. Privateers receive uh, this Goose companion. Witch Doctors receive this Goat companion. Uh, so Buccaneers receive uh, this companion, the crown shop version is called Wagyu. Musketeers receive this crane companion, and uh, swashbucklers receive this horse companion. So all of these starting companions uh, are melee companions with Bladestorm and Relentless. And the first ranged companion that you recruit is Bonnie Ann. So who are you then? You're good to have around in a fight. I said I'd help you find Finn, and I'm a girl on my word. You have room for another on your crew, Captain. Now she starts with this ability called Double Tap, which is once per turn make a bonus ranged attack when you crit or defeat an enemy. And as she levels up and earns more promotions, she will also be able to learn Burst Fire, which is a chance of getting an extra attack after you land a hit. So the melee versions of these two abilities are Blade Storm and Relentless, and the ranged version are Double Tap and Burst Fire. So these two companions that you start with are your best chaining companions in the game. And I'm just gonna hop on my Privateer uh, really quickly to show you what the max level versions of these starter companions look like. Alright, so here I am on my max level Privateer. And we are just going to show you what the fully promoted Bonnie Ann looks like at level 70. So as you saw, she started with one rank of double tap. Rank 2 double tap allows her to make a bonus ranged attack up to 3 times per round when she crits or defeats an enemy. And burst fire allows her to gain a chance to make a bonus ranged attack after hitting up to 3 times per round, 35% chance of activation each time. And to further increase the chances of these chains going off, I gave her two additional triggers, which is quick draw. So if an enemy musketeer shoots at her, this will activate and potentially activate a chain. The other uh, trigger is Overwatch, which is make a bonus ranged attack when enemy moves into range. Uh, this is really good against approaching melee units, and Quick Draw is really good against enemy musketeers. So there's actually two possible builds for Bonnie Ann. One is to give her Quick Draw, uh, quick draw rank 3, which means that uh, she will be able to gain uh, increased weapon power before they hit. But the current build I have for her is Overwatch 3, which decreases the accuracy of charging melee units by 50%. So uh, we are going to demonstrate uh, how her chains work, and we're going to have two supporting melee companions. So she is a musketeer, which means that uh, uh, her highest stat is agility, 96, and her lowest stat is strength, 39. So she can get critical chains on units with low agility, but it does mean that she is vulnerable to being chained on by units with high strength. So to protect her, we're going to use a Buccaneer, Ratbeard. Ratbeard uh, is a strength-based unit, and he has hold the line 3, which will stop charging uh, 
melee units and decrease their dodge by 50%. Uh, and Toro will increase the uh, accuracy and dodge of his teammates. So we're gonna test this setup against my favorite uh, victim, Captain Hand. So the maximum number of times that Bonnie can chain is the initial hit followed by double tap three times and burst fire three times. Let's see if we can increase her odds of getting some chains. So I'm gonna start by increasing her agility and I'm gonna place Ratbeard in front, increase her accuracy and place a Bonnie behind Ratbeard. So the chances of her getting a critical hit is the difference in her agility um, between her and the unit that she's hitting. So I'm going to increase her agility and have Ratbeard use his special hit to decrease the agility of the unit that I want her to chain on. Alright now Captain Hand walked into Ratbeard's hold the line so he now has reduced dodge. Which is going to increase the chances of hits landing on him. Uh, and that rat just walked into Bonnie's overwatch and she got a burst fire chain off of that. It was a short chain. Alright, now I'm going to increase, further increase their accuracy. Have Ratbeard decrease this guy's agility. Toro can uh, distract that guy and hopefully Bonnie will go crazy on Captain Hand. <laughs> Let's see. Now Redbeard can chain a little bit. He has Blade Storm but he does not have Relentless. Alright, initial hit, first fire, second first fire, third first fire, oh she missed. That was unfortunate. I gave her the best possible support for accuracy. Well, but Captain Head walked into her overwatch, so uh, another triggered hit, double tap, second double tap, third double tap. Yeah, that was a pretty decent chain. Uh, and my repel borders just went off. Repel is the melee version of Overwatch when a unit comes into range. And Relentless is the melee version of Burst Fire. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that result. We saw how uh, she got a chain off of the initial hit that I told her to do, and then another chain off of the triggered hit, which was the overwatch. So that was a triggered hit off of first strike. First strike is the melee version of quick draw. Increase everybody's critical, push these two guys back. First fire, and because she killed him, she gets a double tap, and because she got critical, she gets another double tap and another burst fire. So hopefully those guys will activate her overwatch again, yep. Burst fire, very good. Double tap. And there we go, that was a successful showcase, I think, of Bonnie's chaining abilities as a ranged companion. And what I'm gonna do next is showcase a melee chaining companion on my swashbuckler. Alright, so here I am on my swashbuckler, and 
we are going to be showcasing the Swashbuckler Starter Companion, which is Subodai. Subodai is a Buccaneer, and when he is fully promoted, he has Bladestorm 2, Relentless 2, and he can also react with Vengeance Strike. So what we're going to do to showcase his chaining abilities is give him the maximum possible support. My pirate is going to cast this card, Great Juju, which increases his strength by 100%. And Toro is going to give Subodai an accuracy buff. And Sarah is going to decrease the strength of the target that he's going for. And we are going to select the Obsidian Old Scratch as our victim for showcasing Subodai's chaining abilities. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, give him the buffs and send him forward. Alright, now we are going to shield him, continue pressing forward, and I'm gonna use Subodai Super Hit on Old Scratch and hopefully get a chain. Alright, he triggered a Vengeance Strike. Relentless. And now here is the planned attack, the super hit. And Relentless Chain. So yeah, that's Subodai. He can hit several times in a row. That's what it means to have a chain. So initial hit, relentless, and then a second relentless. And now that one went critical, so he's going to get a blade storm. And then another relentless. And then another blade storm. Not bad at all. So that's uh, what it's like for a companion to chain, a melee companion to chain. And there we go. So that was to showcase Subodai's chains. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you. Basically, you learned that the first two companions you receive in the game, your starter melee companion and Bonnie Ann, are two of the best chaining units in the game. The melee unit can learn Blade Storm, which triggers after you score a critical hit or defeat an enemy, and Relentless, which is a repeated hit on the same enemy. And uh, the ranged versions of that are double tap and burst fire. Leave a like if you found this video helpful, feel free to recommend it to others. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.